Hello again everyone. Let's continue with decimals and this time we will be talking about multiplication. So multiply natin ang 0.45 by 0.28. So 0.45 times 0.28. Arrange natin in column. Okay. Since pareho lang naman silang dalawa ang decimal places, so arrange na rin natin ang maayos. Pero um, kahit disregard nyo muna yung decimal point, concentrate tayo sa number. Kasi sa na lang yung decimal point. Eh. Okay? So, start tayo with 8 times 5. So, that would be 40. So, 0 carry 4. 8 times 4 is 32 plus 4 that is 36. So, 6 carry 3. And then, 8 times 0 is 0 plus 3 that would be 3 only. Right? And then, since tapos na yung carry natin na 4 at saka 3, cancel muna natin yan. And then, let's proceed with 2 times 5. That is 10. Diba? So, dyan natin sa pangalawa na ilagay. Sa baba ng 2, since we are now in 2. So, 2 times 5 is 10. So, sa baba ng 2 yung 0. And then, carry 1 sa taas. And then, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1. That would be... 9. And then, 0 na rin yung isa. So, tama na. Okay? So, add na natin. Right? So, that would be 0. And then, 6. And 3 plus 9 is 12. So, ito na yung sinabi ko kanina. Na disregard mo na natin yung decimal point. ba? Kasi, bibilangin lang ang decimal places sa mga factors. So, unang factors ay merong dalawang decimal places. Okay. Sa pangalawang factor natin, dalawa pa rin. So, i-add lang natin lahat ng decimal places sa factor. So, since meron tayong dalawa sa una, dalawa din sa pangalawa, kaya sa product natin, dapat apat ang decimal places natin. So, paano ba natin um, ilagay? So, dapat mula dito sa um, kanan at Bilang tayo ng apat na decimal places. So, that would be 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So, yung decimal place natin or decimal point natin ay dapat nandito na. Right? So, ayan. So, that is now our decimal point. And then, lagyan natin ng 0 sa harap. Okay? Okay, so, multiply tayo with 355.6 and 1.24. So, 355.6, ilagyan natin sa taas. Kasi ito naman ang may pinakamalaking, uh, pinakamaraming digits sa dalawa. And then, that would be multiplied by 1.24. And para sa sinabi ko kanina, disregard muna natin ang decimal point. Okay? Um, concentrate muna tayo sa number. So, multiply na natin. So, you have 4 times 6 is 24. So, that would be 4 carry 2. Right? And then, we have 4 times 5 is 20. Plus 2, that would be 22. So, 2 carry 2 again. And then, 4 times 5 is 20 again, plus 2, that would be another 22, so 2 carry 2. And then, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 4, that would be 14, right? And then, cancel muna natin yung tatlo dyan, kasi tapos na tayo dyan, ba? And then, let's have 2. So, 2 times 6 is 12, dito natin sa baba, baba ng 2 ilagay. So, 12, that would be 2 carry 1. And then, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1, that would be 11. So, 1, carry 1 natin dito. And then, 2 times 5 is 10 ulit, plus 1, that would be 11 again. So, 1, carry 1. And then, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1, that is 7. Tama, di ba? Then, Cancel ulit natin yan. Alright. And then, let's go on to the last one, which is 1. So, 1 times 6, that would be 6. So, dito tayo sa baba ng 1, maglagay ng 6, magsimula. And then, 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 5 is 5 again. And 1 times 3 is 3. Of 
po. Kung titignan natin, pareho lang yan. 3, 5, 5, 6. Kasi 1 lang naman to, di ba? And then, add natin lahat. So, this will be 4. And then, 2 plus 2, that would be 4 as well. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 6, that would be 9. And then, this one is 4, plus 1 is 5, plus 5, that's 10. So, 0 dito, carry 1. Alright? So, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 7, that is 9. Plus 5, that is 14. So, 4, carry 1. And then, 1 plus 3 is 4. Alright? Again, bibilang tayo ng decimal places. So, unang decimal place dito, or unang um, number of decimal places dito sa unang number ay sa lang. Kasi dito lang naman isa from the decimal point. Now, ito naman ay dalawa. Okay? So, i-add natin yung dalawa. That would be 1 plus 2. We have 3 decimal places dapat as a product. So, mula dito bilang ka ng isa, dalawa, tatlo, and we have your decimal point. Ganun lang. Alright? Right, multiply natin ang 21.4 by 1.5. So, that would be 21.4 sa taas. And then, multiply natin with 1.5. Right? And then, okay, start tayo with 5 times 4. That would be 20. So, 0 carry 2. Okay, and then 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 2, that is 7. And then, 5 times 2 is 10. And then, ah, uh, tayo sa sunod. So, 1 times 4 is 4. And then, 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 times 2 is 2. So, 214 lang naman, di ba? And then, add natin. So, that would be 0. 7 plus 4 is 11. That would be 1 carry 1. So, 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 2. And then, 1 plus 2 is 3. So, again, Okay, bibilang tayo ng decimal places. So, uh, unang factor merong one decimal place. Pangalawa ay one decimal place. And then, add natin yung dalawa. That would just be two decimal places for uh, the product. So, bilang tayo from the right. That would be one, two, and then there, your decimal place. And then, kung titignan nyo, ang product natin ay nagtatapos sa zero. So, kahit tanggalin natin yung zero dyan, okay, pwede na. And even if you check, uh, you check it with the calculator, um, hindi lalabas yung zero sa calculator. So, final answer natin, tanggalin natin yung zero, that would just be 32.1. Now, what if i-multiply natin siya with 1? Ano nga yun ang sagot dito? E di, 21.45 lang din to, di ba? Kasi times 1 lang naman eh. Now, kung i-times 10 natin yan, okay, so supposed to be lalaki yan, times 10 eh, di ba? So, uh, if ever, mag-multiply ka ng any decimal with 10, i-move mo lang ang decimal point dito. Kasi, that's just 214. So, 214.5. So, move lang ng isa. Kasi parang sa 5. 5 times 10 is 50. So, from 5, okay, yung 5, ang decimal point ay nasa sa gilid lang. And then, dagdagan mo ng 0. So, nag-move lang din ang decimal point. So, dito, okay, um, di na nagdagdag ng 0 kasi... May decimal places kasi, may decimal, may digits kasi sa decimal places. Kaya, move ka lang ng isa. Kasi, from here, nag-move lang din naman ng isa yan. With the additional zero sa 10. So, mula dito isa. Dahil mula dito, isa lang din. Okay? And then, times 100. So, from 100, yung decimal point ng 1 ay nandito. So, nadagdagan na siya ng isa dalawang decimal places. So, mula dito, ganun din, isa, dalawa. So, yung sagot natin now is 2,145. Alright. Now, what if it's multiplied by 1,000? So, mula dito, that is 1, 2, 3. Adi, dagdag lang din dito ng isa, dalawa, and then kulang, dagdagan ng isang zero. So, 
21,450 na. Kasi supposed to be dito yung decimal point, di ba? So, since ang 1 ay nagiging 1,000, 1, 2, 3 digits ang namove mo sa decimal point. So, ganun din dito, mula dito sa 21, mula dito, that would be 1, 2, 3. Okay, so final answer mo is 21,400. Yung style na ito is actually just a shortcut. Pero kung titignan mo, okay, um, magbibilang ka lang ng decimal places again eh. So, kung i-multiply mo kasi yung 2,145 times 10, supposed to be dag dag dagdag ka ng zero dyan. Tapos, bilang ng dalawang decimal places. So, isa, dalawa, kasi nawala na yung zero dito eh. Um, you can check it with the calculator. So, dito, next one, okay, 21.45 times 10,000. So, again, yung decimal point supposed to be with 1 ay nandito. And then, nag-move ng isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. So, i-move lang din natin to kasi lalaki lang dapat ang 21.45 kasi ita times na natin siya ng 10,000. So, apat na uh, places. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is 1, 2. So, dagdag tayo ng dalawang zero kasi dalawa lang to eh. So, this is now 214,500. Now, what if balik tayo natin? So, start tayo with 1 ulit. So, 21.45 times 1 is just 21.45, di ba? Now, 21.45 it times natin with 0.1. So, kung ito times natin ito with a decimal point, 0.1, liliit ang value nito. So, kabaligtaran ito ng times 10, kasi sa times 10, dapat lalaki siya, di ba? Now, since mula dito, originally dito, yung decimal point ng 1, nag-move tayo ng left, edi eh, i-move na lang din natin ito ng left. Okay? So, ito din, move natin ng left. So, yung sagot natin dito is just 2.145. So, mula dito, again ha, mula dito, mula dito, yung decimal point ng 1, Decimal point na 1, move ka ng isa. So, mula dito, move ka ng isa. Kaya nandun na siya sa uh, harap ng 1 after ng 2. Diba? Then, we have 21.45 times um, 100 ngayon. So, mula dito sa 1, you move, nag-move ka ng isa, dalawa. So, mula dito again, move ka ng isa, dalawa. So, ang point dapat ay nasa harap ng 2. So, sagot natin ay 0.2. 2145. Na bakit dinagdagan ng 0? Kasi, ibig sabihin, walang whole number. Okay? So, dahil nandito yung point, at wala na nakasunod, dadagdagan mo na ngayon ng 0 dyan. Okay? Para lang ipakita na walang whole number na yan. Okay? So, hindi kasi pwedeng magsimula yung number ng point lang. So, kung point lang, dapat may 0 sa harap. And then, let's have the next one. 21.45 times 1. 1,000. So, again, ito ngayon ay nag-move na ng tatlong places ang point. So, 1, 2, 3. So, mula dito, that's 1, 2. Since kulang, dagdagan mo ng 0 para magiging 3. So, yung sagot natin, dapat magsimula with uh, 0.0 kasi dadagdagan mo ng isang 0 eh. So, 0.02145. Ayan. So, 0.02145. Now, the last one is, multiply natin with 1, 10,000. So, 21.45 times 1, 10,000. So, that is, mula dito again, originally, yung decimal point na dito sa gilid ng 1 ha. So, move tayo ng isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. So, dapat dito, apat na movements din. 1, 2, since kulang ng dalawa, dagdagan ng dalawang, Zero. So, zero point muna and then yung dalawang zero na dadagdag. So, point zero zero two one four five. Kasi mula dito, nag-move ka ng isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Alright? Okay, let's have some practice exercise. Lima lang to. Okay. 